Hey guys, so I took a poll on my Instagram to see if you guys wanted to see my everyday makeup routine and I think like 70% of you wanted to, so that's what I'm going to do for you. Um, I'm going to do more like what kind of makeup I do when I'm like actually going somewhere because on an everyday basis I usually only wear mascara and that would be like a 10 second video. So I'm just going to show you guys what I do if I have like an event I need to go to with my family or dinner plans or something like that. Um, yeah. So I'm just gonna pin my bangs back first. I feel like my forehead looks so big now when my bangs are pinned back. Okay, so I'm going to start with my primer. So what I do for primer is I mix the Laura Mercier Radiance Foundation Primer. Oh, sorry about the lighting, it's a little sunny out. Um, I mix that with the Cover FX Custom Enhancing Drop in Celestial, Celestial, I don't know, okay. I'm gonna mix those two. Just gonna apply that with my hands. And sorry if I keep looking to the side, my mirror is over here. Just went and wet my beauty blender and I'm gonna do my foundation. Um, also, sorry if I keep looking down, all my makeup's down here. Okay, so the foundation I use is the Fenty Beauty Foundation um, and I mix it with the NYX Total Control Drops because the Fenty is a little too pale for me, so I just put like one drop of this and one pump of this and mix it together. And that seems to be the right shade basically for me. So I put a little bit on the back of my hand. And then I do one section at a time so it doesn't dry too fast. And I use my brush and then blend it in with my beauty blender. foundations done I'm just gonna do concealer now sorry it looks so like shady on this side of my face it's just like the lighting um I promise I don't like really have a black eye in real life okay so then for concealer I'm gonna take the Tarte Shape Tape which I'm sure anyone who wears makeup has probably heard of it I'm gonna use it under my eyes and on any um blemishes I might have <laughs> just gonna blend that in with my beauty blender. Wow, I look amazing right now. Okay, now I'm gonna take some of my L'Oreal, L'Oreal, Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and just set my face and my under eyes. A new day we live life the hard way But not to if I want it to stay all day I'll bake it as well so basically what I do is take my beauty blender and just like load it up and have it sit and then brush it away I'm sure you've seen it before um, really quick I do want to talk a little bit about my makeup um, most of my products are cruelty free if they are not cruelty free they were probably given to me as like a sample or a gift or I received them somehow, or I purchased them before I went cruelty-free. From now on, I only purchase cruelty-free items, so like, I think Laura Mercier isn't cruelty-free, so after I'm done with this, I'll obviously purchase something that is cruelty-free and not continue to use this, but that is something I find very important. Okay, so after that, I'm gonna do a bronzer. I'm gonna take my Too Faced and Little Chocolate Soleil bronzer, it's just like a mini one. I really like this and a big fluffy brush. I'm really pale so I don't do like a lot of bronzer because otherwise it looks super fake on me. Um, then I'm gonna do blush. I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild in Rose Champagne. It's just like a really pretty like nudey, shimmery kind of color. I always do highlight at the end because it's my favorite so I like it to just like be the finishing touch. I'm like obsessed with highlighter. Anyways, okay, now I'm gonna do eyebrows. I use two products. Um, the first one is the Anastasia Brow Wiz and then the Clear Brow Gel by the same brand. Oh, anyway, I'm gonna do that really fast. Just my eyebrows, and usually I don't do like a ton of eyeshadow. I just do like a couple things. So I'm taking this little 
Wet n Wild palette. I love Wet n Wild because it's cruelty free and it's actually pretty good quality for how cheap it is so I really like it and yeah okay so I'm taking this little palette and just a big fluffy brush if I can find one. Oh, these are all my brushes too. I really like makeup brushes. I don't know. I like rarely wear makeup, but I love makeup brushes. Okay, so I'm just taking like a champagne color and putting it all over my lid. Take a fluffy crease brush and put just like a light matte brown in my crease. I just like don't love it so what I'm gonna do is take like a pencil brush and just smudge a dark brown on my top lid and bottom lid I'm gonna take another little brush and just take this like um, light pink and put that on the lid as well to give it a little more shimmer and that's basically all I do. I don't know if you can even see it. I'm gonna do mascara and my favorite mascara of all time is Too Faced Better Than Sex. It is my favorite. I always will like buy other ones and then just end up buying this one again because it's literally amazing. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, so just finished my mascara and now I'm going to do my highlight which is my favorite part so what i'm gonna do again is just take some of these um illuminating drops i had and put a drop on the back of my hand and then take the point of my beauty blender and just put it on the tops of my cheekbones if i was deserted on an island i would only bring highlighter and maybe mascara but definitely highlighter <laughs> Set that, I'm gonna take my Fenty um, highlighter, if I can open it, my Fenty highlighter in Mean Money and Hustla Baby, and I'm gonna take a highlighting brush and just take the like more intense side and put it on my cheekbones over that. My take another little brush and just put that on my inner corners as well and then I'm gonna flip over and use the other side of that brush and take the more subtle side and put that on my brow bone okay then I'm gonna do lips and I'm just gonna use the Kat Von D liquid lipstick in lovesick this is my favorite color besides Lolita and I just love these lipsticks I think they stay so well and they're so pretty and everything is vegan and cruelty free from her line so I love it pretty pink okay then on top of that I'm gonna take my urban decay lipstick in lady flower which is just like a really similar pink and just put that over lightly and then finally, I'm going to take the setting spray. This is just the NYX Dewy Finish. It's fine. I don't really know if it makes my makeup last anymore, but I still feel like I need to use it just in case. I'm just... Okay, so I just took my bangs down. Um, the nice thing about my bangs is it covers up my forehead and my eyebrows, so I don't really have to put as much foundation on my forehead or do my eyebrows as well. So... That's my makeup routine when I'm actually wearing makeup. Um, it usually takes like 15 minutes if I'm like taking my time and doing it well, but that's the look. It's pretty simple and easy. I love makeup, but I don't like love spending a ton of time on it anymore. But yeah, I hope you guys who wanted to see this enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next post. Bye.